Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, I was starting to record here because, uh, well, there's a thing that I found in a part of the strip that I just had to show I off. I dinner at the Ultra Lux the other night. I told them my steak tastes funny. They said it was a clown. I ate a person. <laughs> my wife and I know the secret to a happy marriage. Two times a week, we go to a nice restaurant. She goes Mondays, I go Fridays. <laughs> they really care about your privacy. Yeah. The tops. Even room service has an enlisted number. What? What? My hotel room is okay. so small. Uh, to when be I fair, this is my kind of humor. <laughs> this is a goofy. I've been in love with a uh, woman for 17 years. If my wife ever finds out, she'll kill me. No! Uh, th there's, a, there's a quest that we can do with this guy. But, uh... Right. <laughs> and it burns. Just too bad she's not a ghoul. <laughs> oh no. Okay, um there's a quest that would involve him with the tops, which I'm now in the wrong spot to do. Whoops doodle. But uh that would be an entirely different kettle of fish for me to go after. Right now I'm busy with the Ultralux, which I had to look up if my weapons that I have are possible holdout weapons that I want to carry on my person, and uh, they are. Well, at least most of them. The, uh, the good ones are the ones that I was worried about. Uh, a light shining in darkness, a blood nap, and that's really about it that I have that's relatively useful, and I was worried that some of them wouldn't work, but both blood nap and the light shining in darkness are improved holdout weapons, so... That'll work out for me. <laughs> so, here's hoping. So, in we go. To be fair, I've never done the Ultralux correctly. So, here's hoping I can get this done right. <laughs> ah. Usually end up having to kill multiple your people. Pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Oh, yeah? Sure, here you go. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. Slightest. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. Well, I but would we be happy if we can't have anyone did. waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Oh, yeah? Please, enjoy your stay. Alrighty. Where did you take them? They'll be handled with the utmost security in our bank. Oh, uh, with the utmost security? Which means I can waltz right in with my, uh ease of access to secure things uh, uh, we'll find out goodbye adieu oh french fancy okay well uh let's uh get the fuck out this area we visited it and learn about the white love society by talking to one of its leaders there's multiple leaders that i should talk to and one of them uh kind of let slip if i uh get enough info on him if I can figure out where the fuck he is that would be a good way to find out there we are this guy I believe his name is Mortimer if I remember right uh yeah I was right Mortimer good day hi there your top hat actually How looks impeccable service, sir? hi there do you have any work that needs to be done well, well it's now it's more of a what can you tell me about your organization my, such a popular question. Uh -huh. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. Yeah. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course. But our pedigree was established over generations. Over generations. Were we always hmm. so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. Yeah, you would be. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Well, not everyone can wear the finest clothes and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we mm. can agree that the Fair. most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. And that's what the white false Club society is all about. False, false, false. Do you have any work that needs to be done? No, not from the likes of you, I'm afraid. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Better the look elsewhere. Stomach for it. Hmm. Indeed. Hmm. Well, 
Let's see what we can find out by talking to Marjorie. And I'm not going to tell yes, man. I'm not going to tell yes, man. I'm ignoring them. There's things here. There's things here I must know. And one of them involves Marjorie, but I don't know where she is. She's clearly not out that door. But at the same time, I've already talked to Mortimer. I've got nothing out of him. Free side thugs aren't worth your time anymore. What are you what are you talking about, free side thugs? What are you talking about? Okay, the gourmand at the Ultra Lux, huh? Hmm. We might be able to find out a couple things in there, won't we? Maybe. Maybe. Alright. Marjorie, I assume. Yes. Okay. Welcome to the Ultra Lux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Well, same here. Do you work here? I do, but one can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We Boo. at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. Oh, you're the founder. Okay, well, that explains it. Um. Well, uh... At first, I was going to say, uh, boo, I hate the people who love their job, because then the people who are just meh or dislike the job, they will just rub their noses in it and say, look at all these things that you should love about this job, and it's just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> fuck you, maybe, but that's because I've worked with a couple of those people. Well, if they're the founder, then it makes sense that they're like that. So, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Goodbye. Ta-ta. Well, I got nothing out of Marjorie. So. There's gotta be more. There's gotta be more. Every evening, most of the White Glove Society sneaks away somewhere. It's probably just for show. Probably just for show, huh? I have a different idea of that. Hi, bartender. What can I get you? Well, let's see what you have for sale so I can peruse nothing. Okay. Fine. Farewell. Alright. Hmm. I have a feeling I fucked up somewhere. But I don't know where. How do you do? I'm doing things. Thank you. How about you? I didn't know how to respond to that. Um, there's gotta be something that I can glean about. Oh, those, that's a cane. You are just outright carrying a cane on your hip, lady. That is weird. What if I talk to you again? Eh? How may I be of service, sir? Uh, okay, uh, that's nothing. I can't get anything out of that. What if I sneak... Okay, that's a thing. Freezer, kitchen, and penthouse key. Okay, well, that's a thing. Wait, I think there's... Caesar's I think I... Was sealed from the start. Yes, it was. There's a thing I missed while I was walking around trying to get to Mortimer. I think there was a guy. Yeah, there was a guy I missed. It's a guy I needed to talk to. I don't know where he is, though. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh. What are you doing with that gun you in your hand? Yourself around, Mr. Gunderson. You look like you're drunk, sir. Are you sure you should be uh, holding a gun in your inebriated state? I'm fairly certain you should not, and I say that coming from America. Okay, that uh... That house who lorded over the strip is dead. Good riddance, I say. Wow. Everyone just hated his guts. All right, heck, Beg Gunderson. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. Mm -hmm. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? White, uh, white hats. That actually narrows it down. Uh, no, I haven't. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. 
Not one lousy speck of information. That's your son, I assume? Not one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. Oh. So you're a rancher. Oh, wait. Wait. There's another thing. There's another wrinkle to this whole thing that I up and didn't realize. Is it me or do the Securitron seem sassier? D yeah, a little bit. Now I get all my weapons back. <laughs> this is going to be a thing. Okay. I missed three things. One was talking to Heck Gunderson before I talked to the rest of them. Two was talking to this guy and his wife over here. If you don't mind, I have to look after my husband. Oh yeah? What are you and he up to out on here on the strip? He's got his reasons. And mm -hmm. when that man gets a notion stuck in his head, he's like a bighorn or bull that's seen red. Oh. And if it means Heck Gunderson's involved, then you better step aside before the stampede tramples you over. There you are. What's so important about Heck Gunderson? If that's what you want to talk about, go see Walter. He'll talk your ear off. Oh, yeah? Everything he says about the evils of Heck Gunderson is true, but I've never held the notion that fighting evil with evil carries the world forward. You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> anyway, where are you from? Oh, a good ways west of here in a place you've never been. Uh -huh. As far as we're concerned, only name it ever had was Phoebus Ranch. Gotcha. That was before we lost some land to Heck Gunderson. Oh. The bank demanded payment in full the day after the Stockman's Association bailed it out. Ah. What's life like as a bighorn rancher? A good life, if you don't mind hard work. The only real fuss is the constant bother with varmints. Well, that's very typical. Fail to catch mole rats early in their breeding, and you'll have three or four head breaking their ankles in mole rat holes every day. Yeah, that of wouldn't course, be great. Of course, the worst varmint of all is a Brahmin baron with his hands in the pockets of a Republic senator. Oh. That's a problem you can't solve with a varmint rifle. Though I fear my husband's apt to try. Well. He's got Heck Gunderson in his sights right now. You can try for sure. Yeah, what's the deal with this Heck Gunderson? I'm done talking about that man. If that's what you want, step on over to Walter. Alrighty, I will do that. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye. Alright. Uh, Walter. Hi there. Howdy, son. How can I help you? But make it quick. Goddamn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. Fair enough, then you're probably right about that. You look more than just too hot. What's the matter? Sharp eyes on you, alright. Yep. We've gone through a heap of trouble to get in town. Ethel says I just need to wet my throat. Yeah. A drink? Nonsense. All I need now is to settle a score. We didn't come a long ways just to stroll our best clothes around. Fair enough. What's that about settling the score? There's a long list of grievances that Heck Gunderson's got to answer for, kid. Mm -hmm. I'm here to make sure that rancher stops stealing our lands. You say rancher with quotes. If he ain't chiseling behind your back, he just sends his men ready for a fight. Then you either sell your ranch for a penny... You're You'll dead. say sell in quotes. I'm tired of being How do you do that? Over, kid. And I got a good mind to stop Heck once and for all. Well, to be fair, I wouldn't blame you. How is Heck a threat to other ranchers in the wasteland? We are honest folk out there. Damn hard to make a living in the desert, kid. Well, yeah. Heck's a different breed. Goddamn thief he is. Oh, yeah? Scaring us into giving away our lands is all he's done to strike it flush. Comes packing iron and none can hold a candle to his men. Bad blood. Oh, I see. So he just comes out and threatens you to hand over the land so he doesn't massacre you. One would think, one would notice that he's pulling that shit. But, I mean, I guess in the wasteland it's a little hard to be able to trace that shit back to heck. So, what else can you tell me about him? What more you want. He's a slithering snake, what he is. One of the biggest landowners this side of the Colorado, and it's all stolen, I tell you. I'm sure all it is. All that money buys him any NCR senators he wants. 
scoundrels like heck. Oh, I see. There's just no way for us small folks to get by, much less prosper, kid. All right, what do you plan to do? I have no illusions that he'll ever stop his plundering, so I'm just going to make him suffer. That's what I'm going to do. Here in town, he's got a few of his armed men to protect him. Mm -hmm. I just got to find out what he's up to, and then I'll know where to hit him hard. I might know. <laughs> the best don't come cheap, Walter. 400 caps in my fee. All right, kid. I'm taking a liking to you. Hey. It's a deal. Where I, I like come it. from, we appreciate I love it. good intentions. Mm -hmm. I reckon you could help me figure out what he's doing in town. Yeah, absolutely. Tell you what, that chiseler's blowing hot air over at that there fancy casino, the Ultra Lux. Find out what's his story here, will you? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll be back when I find out more from him. All right, kid. I appreciate it. I hope to see you soon. I did I technically... We straightened up a band of thugs in Freeside. Okay. Well, that's that's true. I don't know why he came to me with that almost immediately. Find out the purpose behind Heck Gunderson's visit to the Ultra Lux. Didn't I just figure that out? Did I do everything out of order and fuck it up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's entirely possible I did. Motherfucker. Okay, well, <laughs> if I did, I'll figure out a way to fix it. But, for now... In the meantime... Once again, gotta be disarmed. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My I'll just skip through all that, because we've already seen all of it. There we go. And we find out from Heck Gunderson... Whoops. Should probably mark it. With the uh, proper quest here. Feeble will. There we go. Perfect. Heck, Gunderson. You ain't heard anything about my boy, have you? Uh, no, I haven't. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Nope. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. You lost your son. My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. Mm -hmm. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. I Got see. most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Well, of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. Okay. But I don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Fair enough. Uh, goodbye. I'll be here. Fair enough. Let's, uh, go... Jeez, we're gonna go through this menu, like, multiple times. Okay. Get all our weapons back. There we are. Go right back to Walter and ask him about that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Don't be vomiting in front of my, uh, walk cycle now. Okay. Go over to Walter now. There we go. Howdy. Good seeing you again. Yeah, good seeing you too. I wanted to talk to you about our deal. I hear you. What's on your mind? Yeah, it turns out that Ted Gunderson's disappeared. Hex looking for him. I'll be damned. You mean the young Gunderson? That's a shaved tail if I ever saw one. Mm -hmm. He's got less sense than a Brahmin at a crossroads. Oh, yeah. I'd not be one to complain if he got lost for good, kid. If it makes Hex oh. suffer, then I'm all for it. Fair enough. You might like to know that Hex barely protected right now. So Ted's nowhere to be found, and Hex quite unprotected while looking for him, huh? Hell, it sounds like the perfect time to get even. Heck won't know what hit him. What do you say? Maybe Heck would listen to your pleas if his son's life was at stake. Ah, let's talk prices. I hear you. What's on your mind? Wow, I can go to a thousand. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. But that means I would have to kill Heck, wouldn't it? If I do, like, the 90. But if I went with 80, I'd have to kill a son. Ah, huh. Heck's life and a safe future have a steep price, Walter. A thousand caps my fee. I'll pay that much and die a happy man when my time comes. So we got a deal? Uh, consider it done. All right, kid. 
Be good. All right, I'll try. I got a level up from all that, so there's that. Take care of Heck Gunderson for Walter Phoebus. Oh, boy. Now I need to figure out how to do that. <laughs> I have a feeling that there's a way to do it. To, you know, off him and the kid. And it wouldn't have to even be by my hands. It would have to be by the white gloves. But then the question remains... What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck do I do about that? I don't know. Well, I have all the stats that I want to be maxed out at max out, so... I guess I can put barter up to its full. Um... And then put that to there. And then I guess I can put explosives to full. Yeah, I can do that. Sure. Fine. That works. That's fine, I guess. Alright. Well, I'm going to save the game here for right now. Because... At this point, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be able to pull this off. Because <laughs> now I've gone like five steps ahead of a game that I'm not entirely sure <laughs> how to complete. A game involving Heck Gunderson, his son, and dealing with the White Gloves all in the same go. I'm not sure what to do in that regard. So... Yeah, I'll have to figure out how to do that. <laughs> and I'll have to do that in the next episode. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one only Stray Cat playing games and getting really deep into a solution that I'm not even sure how to do for a problem that I still haven't figured out for you.